Tonight, prayers are being offered for a 17-year-old killed in a crash this morning. 17-year-old Daniel McCauley killed when deputies say he lost control of his Jeep and struck a pole in suburban West Palm Beach. News Channel 5's Evan Axelbank joins us now live near the site of that crash where family and friends have gathered to pay tribute this evening with a candlelight vigil. Evan. McKelly and Michael, 17-year-old Daniel McCauley died right here on Forest Hill Boulevard. You can see just across the eastbound lanes there. I'm standing here on the median, and you can see that the light pole that Daniel McCauley's car struck is now surrounded by flower bouquets, his wrestling gear, and by the footprints now of hundreds of his classmates who came to say so long during this vigil that started at 9 o'clock and ended around 10. Daniel McCauley was driving here at 8.30 this morning to pick up a friend for school, but he lost control of his Jeep and hit the utility pole that has now become a shrine. Palm Beach Central students who came here tonight told me that Daniel was more than an amazing athlete. They say he was an all-star person. He seemed to have hundreds of friends. McCauley's family was here as well tonight, and they received a round of applause from the well-wishers. Three who knew Dan McCauley had trouble saying enough good things about him. A great friend to anyone. He'd, he'd put his life on the line for anybody. I mean, he wasn't at school because he went to pick somebody else up to bring them to school. And uh, forever in our hearts. I love this man. He was a brother to me. And now that he's gone, I just, I don't know what to do. But, you know, he would want us to move forward and just go hard for him. So. That's what I'm going to do. He was the greatest kid at Palm Beach Central. He's the greatest kid I've ever known. You can see all of Dan McCauley's friends have gone home at this hour. Many say they will spend the evening and the next coming days and weeks thinking about him. And indeed, during this vigil tonight, much of Forest Hill Boulevard here was blocked off by sheriff's deputies to allow for the students to go back and forth here across Forest Hill Boulevard. And tonight, sheriff's deputies are continuing their investigation of this crash. We're live tonight in suburban West Palm Beach. Evan Axelbank, WPTV News Channel 5.